We are making bolillos, which is a traditional Mexican bread. I'm going to start by getting my flour and my one packet of yeast prepped so we can get into it. We are using a mixer for this recipe, but you don't have to. You're going to start with your water and you're going to mix your yeast into your warm water and you want to mix this until it's all combined. Once it's all combined, you're going to slowly start adding your flour and you're going to add this flour approximately one cup at a time until everything is all combined. Once your flour is all combined, you're going to add your oil and your salt. You're going to allow this to mix on low until you get one nice ball of dough that is no longer sticky. It's time for the fun part. You're going to turn your dough out on a floured surface and you are going to knead this. You want to knead this for approximately five minutes. You want to make sure that your dough is all combined and it's going to be nice and fluffy. After you have kneaded this for approximately five minutes, you're going to put it in a oil bowl cover and let it sit for 30 minutes your dough should rise within that 30 minutes you're going to take your dough you're going to turn it out on a floured surface and you are going to get it all shaped in one long piece and then you're going to go in and cut it into six equal parts after you cut your dough into six equal parts, it's time to roll it out and shape it. You want to roll these out and you want them to look kind of like footballs. So you press it out, then you roll it, you press it again, then you roll it and you press it one more time and roll it into its final shape. And it should look like a football. That's the best way I can describe it. While you are rolling your bolillos, you want to make sure that your oven is preheating at 425. As you are rolling these out and you're placing them on your baking sheet, make sure you're allowing enough room because they will expand even more while they're baking. Once you have them all rolled out, it is time to cut a small slit in the top of each and then you are going to go and place a small amount of melted butter on top of each. This is going to give it that nice, beautiful brown color. Once all of them are buttered, you're going to bake at 425 for 11 minutes. Bon appetit. Let's eat.